travels all over the world. He also does USO tours. Director, writer, everything. Please help me welcome the very funny Jim Mendrinos, everybody. Everything. I do cuss every once in a while. I hope that doesn't offend you fine people. You know why I curse? I'll tell you why. Because you got to do it here live. You can't say fuck on TV. You know why you can't say it on TV? Because they're saving it for the emergency broadcast system. That's why. <laughs> Someday you're all going to hear that tone like, beep. This is not a fucking test. <laughs> Honey, put the kids in the car. I think they mean it this time. <laughs> the news guy just said fuck. You hear the anchor say, fuck, it would chill you to the marrow. Good evening, I'm Wolf Blitzer. Fuck, what? I don't even know why we curse anymore, man. It has no more impact. That's sad, man. See, I don't know how old you guys are, but if you're around my age, maybe a little bit older, you remember a time when you cursed at somebody and it meant something. You ruined their day. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, what did he say to me? <laughs> Honey, hold my jacket. There's about to be fisticuffs. Now, now you curse at someone, they just look at you like you're stupid. <laughs> Fuck you. Ooh. <laughs> you're an asshole, and? <laughs> That's why we're shooting each other. We can't get our aggressions out. We need to find a way to curse at each other again if we ever want to be a civilized society. So here's what I think we need to do. Let's go back to biblical cursing. The ones we read in the Bible. You're pissed at somebody from across the mall, just point them out like, Unclean! <laughs> that'll turn some heads, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody cares if they're an asshole. None of us wants to be the unclean guy. <laughs> We'd all be standing like, who me? Oh, that skanky bastard. I appreciate it. <laughs> I will stay away from said smelly dude. Thank you. <laughs> said smelly dude. Feel free to repeat them key phrases. <laughs>